Hello. Today's episode is all about the magic wand. So I have open Magic Sky JPEG and Magic Plane JPEG. We're going to take the plane and put it into the Magic Sky. But I'm going to use Magic Sky to show you some of the superpowers of the magic wand. So the magic wand has been hidden underneath the quick selection tool. So if I right click on the quick selection tool, I'll find magic wand and click on it. So here's our little magic wand. And uh, I'm just going to, on this image, it's going to affect every only the layer that you have selected. If you have multiple layers, uh, let's say you had some planes out here and stuff going on, then you would put on sample all layers for it to see everything that's going on. If not, it's just going to sample the layer that you have currently selected. Since we only have one, it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here in the darkest area of the sky and I will see that my um, ants are marching kind of through this area. What it's done is it sampled this color selection, which by the way, it sampled five pixels by five pixels. You can increase that um, or decrease it. And it's looking at that color and saying, okay, I'm going to continue out th or 32 shades of that color and then I'm going to stop. So that's what the edge of that looks like. Let's take a quick look at it. It's kind of jagged, but there it is. All right. So if I want it to go farther, I can do a couple of things. I can increase the tolerance instead of 32 shades. I could type 66 shades and I'm going to deselect Command D and then I'm going to click up here again and you see how much farther it went. Okay. The other thing I can do is I can add to the selection. Now by default, if I click somewhere else, it starts a new selection. But if I start here, and I can either click on this add to the selection or hold down our shift key, which is also very magic. I can add to that selection. So I'm holding down the shift. I get the little plus icon next to my magic wand and I can continue to add to that selection. So now you know how that works. Let's go back. I'm going to deselect this and go back over to the plane. The plane, the plane. So let me zoom in here, command plus. And if I'm going to select the plane, you would think that I would go start clicking on the plane to make a selection out of the plane. But really what I want to do with the magic wand is I want to use the area that's the flattest, most continuous color. Like the background, the sky is pretty flat and continuous. So if I use that, I don't have to click and add and add all this different stuff. So for instance, if I clicked here, you can see that I'm going to have to hold down shift and continue to add color until I get that whole plane selected. Instead, I'm going to Command D to deselect. You'll find it under Select, right there, deselect. And then I'm going to click out here in the blue. Now, my tolerance is still set to 66 because Photoshop remembers everything you do, whether you want it to or not. And it's getting into the canopy of the plane. So I'm going to deselect again. I'm going to return that to 32. And then I'm going to click in the sky again. And that's more of what I want. Now what I have selected, because I see the ants on the plane and at the edge of my canvas, is I have the background selected, which is not what I want to make, uh, what I want to put in the other sky, because there's already a sky in the other sky. I want the plane. So I'm going to go under Select again and choose Inverse, which will turn that selection inside out. So now I have the plane selected and not the background. So again, non-destructive editing. Make sure that that layer is selected, and then I have a live selection of marching ants. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom here, the uh, add a mask button, which is this white card with a hole in it, and click on it. And now I have a transparent background without deleting pixels from the image, which is really important. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to move with my move tool. I'm going to drag from the gray area, and I'm going to go to the magic sky tab. I'm not letting go yet. I'm still holding the mouse button down. I'm going to drag it out into the middle and let it go. Now the plane is magically flying across the sky here. All right. Let me show you the magic, the really magic of the magic wand. Don't blink. You'll miss this. I'm going to grab the magic wand. I'm going to say some magic words, and then I'm going to click on the plane and watch what happens. I want there to be 10 planes. Wow, was that not amazing? Keep watching. Get smarter.